Cisco Prime Land Management Solution, or LMS, is offered as part of Cisco Prime Infrastructure. It delivers powerful network lifecycle management simplifying the configuration, compliance, monitoring, troubleshooting, and administration of Cisco networks. This video describes how to monitor the network with Cisco Prime LMS. This includes viewing the monitoring dashboard, monitoring device performance, viewing syslog messages, and measuring network performance with IPSLA. Let's begin. This module describes viewing the monitoring dashboard. Navigate to Monitoring Dashboards and click on Monitoring to view the monitoring dashboard. The Device Availability Portlet shows the average availability percentage over the last hour. Click on a portion of the graph to view devices with availability issues. You can also click the graph icon to graph the sys uptime for a given device. The Interface Availability Portlet displays the average interface availability percentage over the last hour. In this case, you can drill down in to graph the interface operational status on an interface for a given device. You can configure the top end CPU utilization portlet to display a given number of devices with the highest CPU utilization over the last hour. Click the graph icon to display the CPU utilization for a given device. And finally, the top end interface utilization and errors portlet show you information about devices with the highest utilization and errors in the network. This module describes how to configure performance monitoring. Navigate to Monitor, Performance Settings, Setup, and click on Auto Monitor to view the Auto Monitor settings. The Auto Monitor provides immediate day one default polling for device availability, CPU utilization, and interface status. These pollers populated the portlets which we viewed on the monitoring dashboard in the previous module. Navigate to Monitor, Performance Settings, Setup, and click on Templates to create a custom template. The list of templates displays the predefined system templates. Click Create to create your own template. From the Show MIB drop-down list, select the desired MIB. Next, assign a name to your template. From the MIB window, choose the MIB that you want to use in your template. When you're ready, click Next. From this screen, you can assign an alias name for the MIBs, otherwise click Finish to create the template. Navigate to Monitor, Performance Settings, Setup, and click on Polars to create your own custom polar. The list of polars displays the predefined auto monitor polars. Click Create to create a polar. Choose the desired devices from the device selector. Then enter a name for your template. Notice that the polling interval will be 5 minutes by default. From the Available Templates pane, choose a template and click Add to add it to the Selected Templates pane. You have the option to poll by pattern or by user selection, otherwise click Poll All Instances to continue. When you are ready, click Finish. To create a threshold, navigate to Monitor, Threshold Settings, and click on Performance. From the List of Thresholds page, click Create. Enter a threshold name. Select a template from the drop-down list. Choose a variable from that template. Then complete the threshold criteria. In this example, I am setting the criteria to greater than or equal to 50%. I am also setting the number of violations to 5. Choose the instance from your selected device and click Create. Navigate to the Monitoring menu, Threshold Settings, and click on Trend Watch to create a trend watch. Click on Create. Enter a name for your trend watch. 
A trend watch can be based on templates or thresholds. In this example, we're selecting a template from the template name drop-down list. Then we're selecting a variable from the variable name drop-down list. And if desired, you can select a severity from the severity drop-down list. Next, make a selection using either the instance port group or device group selector. You are now ready to configure the parameters for your trend watch. You can configure trend watch through Cisco Prime LMS by setting up the rules for each MIB variable or thresholds for a specific time period. Trend watch can be scheduled immediately, once, daily, weekly, or monthly as a job. You can also configure TrendWatch to send alert notifications. When you're ready, click Create. This module describes viewing syslog messages on the monitoring dashboard. To view syslog portlets, navigate to Monitor, Dashboards, and click on Monitoring. The syslog summary portlet displays a pie chart representing different types of syslog messages. You can also modify syslog portlets. For example, click the configuration icon in a portlet. Here I am turning on all of the severity levels. And from the drop-down messages list, I'm selecting configuration change report. Then click save. The syslog messages portlet now displays configuration changes. And I could also change the top end syslog center portlet and add more severity levels. When I click Save, I display the top end syslog senders. Click on a severity level count to view the syslog analyzer severity level report for that device. This module describes how to monitor network performance using IP SLA. Navigate to Monitor, Performance Settings, IP SLA, and click on Operations. From the list of operation screens, you can view default system-defined operations such as Telnet. These operations cannot be modified nor deleted. Click on Create to create a user-defined operation. From the General Settings screen, enter a name and a description for your user-defined operation. From the Operation Type drop-down list, select the desired operation. In this example, I am selecting the default echo. From the Reaction settings, you can optionally have the network device generate an alarm if a threshold is exceeded. Finally, I am changing the sample interval to 600 seconds. When you're ready, click Next. From this screen, you can optionally add QoS markings to the packet. Click Next and click Finish to create your user-defined operation. Navigate to Monitor, Performance Settings, IPSLA, and click on Collectors. From this screen, we are going to build a collector on a source device which will generate traffic. Click Create. From the Collection Configuration screen, enter a name and a detailed description of the collector that you want to build on the source device. From the Source Devices pane, you can only select one device that you're going to configure the collectors on. In the Target Devices pane, you can select one or more target devices. In the Operations pane, you can also select one or more operations. When you're ready, click Next. This screen displays the number of collectors that you are going to build on the source device. Click Next. In this example, I am scheduling a historical collector which will retrieve data from the source device and store it on the LMS server. I'm starting it now and running it forever, and I'm setting the polling interval to one minute to match the operation so that I can run minute graphs. Click Next. When you click Finish, LMS will configure the collectors on the source device. After the collectors have been running for a while, you can graph the data stored in the LMS databases. Choose one of your collectors from the collector list. You can monitor a collector directly from the device, but even at one minute intervals, that will take forever. Instead, let's click the Graph button. For the type of graph, I'm going to choose Latency. 
Because I set the polling interval to one minute, I can run a minute graph. Once the report period is defined, click OK to generate the graph. After the collectors have been running for a while, you can then run hourly, daily, weekly, and monthly graphs. This concludes the How to Monitor the Network video. In this video, we covered viewing the monitoring dashboard, monitoring device performance, viewing syslog messages, and measuring network performance with IPSLA. For more information on network management, go to Partner Central at cisco.com slash go slash partner nm.